Welcome back to Learning Escape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a 3D geometric object. Another question that I've received. I want to create this element that you've seen in a thumbnail of this video by hand. So I'm not going to use the 3D tool. It's much easier to just create this rectangle first. Just hold control when you drag it, put it to the right position which is around 45 degrees. Press Ctrl D to create a copy. Put the copy the cursor to in the right position. I've disabled the snapping to do that. So this is our starting point. Let me re-enable the snapping and I use the Bezier tool and now I connect these corner points to create new objects. I hold shift click on the X to get rid of the stroke and I add a fill. Pick some colors that you like. I'm going with this. That's fine. It's our basic object. I can group that. Control G. And then press Control D. Create copies. And I drag them to the right side. So the hierarchy is already fine. If I select them now, press Control D and put them to the bottom, you can see. The hierarchy is not perfect, so it's much better to work from bottom to top. That saves us a couple of clicks. So just select it, Ctrl D, and when you drag the copy up, hold Ctrl and it should snap. You can select it all now, hold Shift and click on a black color swatch to give it a stroke. And maybe you wanna adjust the stroke a little bit. Just select it all, and then you can go to Object, Fill in Stroke, and for example, give it a different width. Let me just use 10 millimeters. But you can see right here, it produces a little bit of a problem where the join is. So we need to select it. And then let me zoom in and I use this join instead. And it solves the problem. Let me select a couple of these blocks and I'll press Ctrl D once more. Let me delete these. I can group these as well. We only need the two objects, so Control G. But keep in mind when you now recolor it, it will recolor everything, so all sides of these blocks. So only group it after you found the right colors. And even if you select these blocks individually, can see that there's an issue so press shift ctrl g if you want to change that so that you've got the sides individually and then you can change the color but once you're done with the colors select it all ctrl g to group it and i've said we only need these two groups we press shift ctrl g here as well and i want to change the color for the midsection a little bit so hold shift and select these nine and these select the other ones. And here I can just simply pick a different color. So all of the other sides of the blocks are in behind. Now I use the busy tool to create these lines to indicate the position. I can use S as a short key to switch to the cursor tool and that deselects the busy tool. And then I press B to reselect it. I can hold shift and select all the lines and make them a little bit thicker with the width. And if you want to add a line that's in behind or that would be behind this object, just draw it like a regular line like this. Give it a thicker width. So it's on top and we want to have it behind. So just select the object instead of the line. And I put the object with the hierarchy on top and that solves the issue.
and this is how you can create this 3D geometric object in Inkscape. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.